Okay, so it turns out our SNES don't have um, normal screws, Phillips or flathead. They have these lame bits, also known as uh, game bits. And we do not have a game bit bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and do what's known as a ghetto screwdriver by using a lighter and a bic. Okay, doc. So the idea is we melt this and then we jam it straight on the screw so it takes the shape of the screw and it should give us a couple of turns if it works. So here goes. If it doesn't work, we'll have some other ideas. Please don't ruin the snares. Right, so we put that on and hopefully it'll cool around the screw and cool into the shape of the screw, forming a homebrew screwdriver. Let's see if we can turn it. And that's the solution. It does not work. Okay, so using the same pen but using the other end, we managed to remove two bits, but now the pen seems uh, warped, so it's not it's not working on the other bits. So I'm going to try and remelt it and try it again. The other end of the pen is stronger than that end of the pen. This end is stronger, more reinforced. So we're going to try and remelt it and reuse it again. We got two out. Let's see if we can get more out. Melted and drip plastic on me. Straight in over the screw, pressure on, lots and lots of pressure. You can't see this. There we go, lots and lots of pressure. And then let's try to turn. I don't know if we're turning the screw or not. I think we're just turning the top of it. Yeah, we didn't touch it. Let's go try and find another pen. Back. Okay, so I managed to get rid of all the gear bit screws, remove them all, with the pen trick. These are bastard screws. Got all six out. Ha ha ha. There we go. They're all out. What I've done. Is I've replaced them with regular Phillips screws. I don't know if you can see it, you can. Phillips screws. So I'm going to take out the Phillips screws and then we can get to the guts. So bear with me while I do that. Right, so now we can disassemble the unit. Well, it just comes straight off. Goody goody. We will have to um, widen the cartridge slot. You can't really see because it's not going to fit my American games. Let's continue. Right, I'm going to gut this out some more until we can get to the main board. Normal Phillips screws now, so dead simple. So, remove them and then we'll come back to you. So we're back, we're down to the board. This is a chip we're going to work on first and you can see how tiny these legs are. We want to lift two legs, the first two legs here, pins 1 and 2, and the first two legs here, which are pins 10 and 11, and it's marked on the board, o 01 there, 9, 10, and 18. So we want pins 1 and 2 lifted, and pins 10 and 11 lifted. We're going to do that by heating it up with our soldering iron, a bit of braid, a razor blade, and hoping for the best. Try not to cut yourself when you're messing with a solder or with a razor blade. And don't try to burn yourself when you're soldering iron. And try not to burn the board capacitors and chips with your iron. First leg is lifted, I don't know if you can see that. Have I got a zoom? Does zoom work in video mode? No, it doesn't point. But if you get really close in, it goes blurry as hell. Huh. 
The first leg is lifted and bent now back on the top of the chip. Don't know what angle is best for you to see that. I don't think you can. I'm going to try to lift the second leg now. <coughs> Got it moving, it's almost up. That's the second leg lifted. Brilliant. Let's see if we can see that. Two legs lifted, one and two. And bit back to the top of the chip. Now we want to do the same on the reverse. Any excess soil that we can remove. One tent lifted super easy. Let's hope look eleven is the same. Like 11 lifted. Not on bridging with one another. Just push them apart. I don't know if you can see that now, but I'm going to put the solder 9 down. Try and get a good decent angle. 1 and 2, 10 and 11 lifted. Right, back in a bit. Okay, so I didn't record it, but I don't know if you can see. We lifted pin 24 on PPU1 and pin 30 on PPU2. Um, trying to get a decent. Now you can see it better from that distance. So that pin's lifted. All we did was wedge a razor blade in between the two legs and apply heat to the pin you want to lift for pin 30 we did the reverse we put it in between the second and last leg and then applied heat using a 40 watt iron and they both lifted very very easily very very easily like that so they were actually easier than the CIC chip right I'm going to go make my mod chip now and I'll Come back to you as I'm making it. I want to figure out how to use a pick programmer. Back in a bit. 